Okay guys, I did find the problem. Uh, whoever installed this radio, which looks like an audio shop did it because they use these stupid little crimp caps. Guys, this is not the way to do it. You're watching Florida Man TV. Let's do this. What's up guys? I'm Steve and you're watching Florida Man TV. Well, damn. <laughs> Today, we are gonna be putting some tunage in the old Jeep Wrangler here. Uh, right now, I've only got one speaker working. The fronts are kind of working, uh, but we need to replace it because you can't be riding trails without some sick beats. So let's show you what we got going on here. I have picked up a little bit of kicker goodness. Now, why did I choose kicker? Well, quite frankly, it's cheap, right? Uh, when you're doing little stuff on an old Jeep here, you try and keep your expenses down, but a speaker is a speaker and uh, you know, as long as I get some volume out of it, we should be good to go. So what we got going on here, for the fronts, we're doing the four by six conversion. Normally, and I'll show you, they have a four inch speaker with a little tweeter. We're upgrading to a four by six in the front. In the back here, we're doing the uh, five and a quarter speakers. And those go right up here in the old, uh, what do you call that thing? Can't, can't think right now. The uh, roll bar, roll bar, there you go. Up in the roll bar there uh you've got your speakers so those are going to go in there and then we got this little sub here this guy's really cute little six and seven well six and three quarter little subwoofer and he goes right in here in the center console and we'll show you that now i got this stuff from crutchfield why did i choose crutchfield well i'm old school man and crutchfield has been around for a long time a long time but the reason that I like Crushfield is because two-day shipping, absolutely free. All accessories to do the install, absolutely free. And if you don't know what you're doing, they even email you an install guide, absolutely free. Not sponsored by Crutchfield or anything like that, but you know, I do appreciate a good company that gets you your stuff quick. It's in stock. Their inventory is correct. When you order something, you're going to get it. So these items here are free from Crutchfield. And... Uh, it's a little conversion plate for the 4x6. Uh, another reason I like Crutchfield, by the way, you put your vehicle in there and you can just see everything that fits your vehicle and, uh, and it's real easy to shop. But anyway, we're going to put these little plates in and they give you these little connectors here. Now, I've already opened them up to try and make this a little easier. Well, that didn't work out, did it? I'm trying to make it easier. But you have your factory harness plug here and they give you these little... Uh, little adapters so it just plugs right in your speaker makes install easy breezy beautiful so let's get right into the action here and show you what we got going on we're going to start with the front speakers then we're going to do these up here real quick and then we'll hit the uh the subwoofer finally so let's get on it okay guys i'm going to try and give you a little before and after sound here now it's on a gopro so you're probably not going to hear much difference but you might be able to hear the buzzing and the vibration and the stuff like that and that's what i'm really trying to correct so we got uh, a little tune on here you've probably heard before and uh all we really got is this speaker up here over my head that one's working that one's not the fronts over here are kind of working. And then our little sub, while it's working, it's pretty much blown. Let me see if I can get it to vibrate. Yeah, of course not. It's going to uh, play just fine, obviously, when I'm trying to film. But I promise you, this stuff here, uh, it's the old factory stuff, and it's from 2004. It just needs to be swapped out. So. Let's go ahead and swap it out here. Again, we're gonna start with the front, so let's get on it. Okay guys, we're moving the front cover, super simple. This is why I like these Jeeps, man. They're just, they're so easy to work on, whether you're doing engine stuff or you're just changing a speaker or whatever. Just super simple. None of this craziness that's on these new vehicles. This should just pop right out there like so. Come on, little guy. You don't wanna force these things because it is old plastic so there we go and i'm trying to do it one-handed which makes it harder so here's our factory front and you can see a little four inch and a little tweeter 
these things are just not really great. Uh, so, by the way, super easy ground. If you're ever wiring anything up for the dash, like a dash cam or something like that, boom, ground wire right there. Easy. Now let's go find uh, our six, six, uh, four by sixes. Here we go. We got our four by sixes. Show you what these little boys look like, and then I'm just going to install them, and I'll show you the after effect here. Kind of pre-open these to make it a little easier for you. There we go. This is the KS series kicker. Um, price. All right, you guys might want to know price on all this, right? So for the two speakers in the front, two speakers on the roll bar, and that little what is it, a five and a three-quarter sub? I paid out the door 298 bucks. So. You know, if you need a cheap stereo, go to Crutchfield. Now, they got $1,000 speakers over there, too. But if you're just looking for a little tunage for your Jeep or your older car or something like that, again, you know, not sponsored by Crutchfield, but I promise you, you know, for 300 bucks to change the entire sound system in your car, not really that bad. So, fortunately, I already had the radio from the previous owner, so I lucked out there. But I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Uh, you guys know how to undo screws and plug a speaker in, but... Uh, if I, well, maybe I'll show you the plug, the, the quick plug, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, so here's our unit removed and uh, we got a little plug back here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed, maybe, nope. Let me prop you up here. All right, little plug removed get our adapter played in and plug our quick connect harness into there and we should be good to go. We'll test it, make sure it works. All right guys, here's our adapter plate here and you just slap your speaker in and then you can line your holes up, put your screws in. Speakers do come with the screws, where are they at? Right here. So put your screws in there and then bolt your plate back in, plug it in, should be good. They make it idiot proof too. This little teeny one is the negative and this one is the positive little fatter one, matches the speaker. So super simple, man. You can't mess this up. Way better than splicing and all of that garbage. So we got that one in. We got this one in here. Yeah, come on. There we go. All right, let's see if it works. How about that? that's your walkthrough on the front speaker i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side finish this side show you the roll bar real quick and then we'll put those in and then we'll do the sub all right guys both the fronts are done both confirmed to work now on the back here it's pretty easy stuff even simpler than the front four little screws right here the cover comes off the speaker comes out with it and you just unplug it we'll use our little quick connect here plug the new speaker in rest it on the grill and stick it back in there so i'll give you a quick shot of what it looks like when it's out other than that i mean pretty simple stuff guys all right here's our factory piece of junk speaker well it's got a little sticky tack or something on it there we go and our plug. Unplug our. Well, oh, geez, out. <laughs> yeah, there it is. She came out by herself. But old speaker. Put that here. Here's the the new kicker four ohms that we're putting in there. See if I can get a some light on it for you. There you go. Little kicker went KS series all the way around. Try and match my my systems up. Super simple, there you go. There's the plug, you saw that on the front. We're gonna put our little adapter plug on for here and then just screw them back in and do the other side. Be back when that's done. Well guys, it appears we have a wiring problem because this speaker is still not working. So, we got this one working. This one's not working. So I'm gonna have to investigate that, but first we're gonna go ahead and do our subwoofer. To get your subwoofer out of here, 
there are two screws down here in the back cup holder if I can get this little rubber up pull your little rubber up two screws down here pull this little rubber up here for the cup holder one bolt right there and then this whole unit comes out it'll slide out from the front right here so undo all of them lift up on the back slide it out comes right out of the handle here no need to remove any of that stuff and then i'll show you once i get that unit out how to get the sub out of there all right guys i got you upside down here but under here there's a plug you got to disconnect to get this all the way out and i can't see it from this angle but there's the plug i think you guys can see it and uh i gotta pull that plug out and take this whole unit out all right we got our unit out here and your amp and sub box is in here there is one of these crazy little clips right here that you got to get out another one over here as well to get this whole unit out to be able to get to the sub underneath and then you got some screws right here that hold it and you got two right in the center console that hold it so i'm going to get these screws out see if i can get this box out of here and then we'll go to the next step we got our unit out of there and uh, got these little clips you carefully break them see and then what you can do is flatten these back out i think i'm pretty sure you can flatten them back out and squeeze them back on there even though they're cracked and broken it'll still grab and kind of hold but you do have the top screws that go in up here that pretty much hold it you just don't want the bottom rattling around so we'll try and reuse them worst case scenario man you can always get new ones go to rock auto or something and they can uh you can get new clips or even maybe your local auto parts store might have them but if you didn't believe my sub was blown even though it's working look at this <laughs> the uh the woofer all the way around is just completely gone so uh you know while it's a little teeny tiny guy putting a new one in here should give us a little better sound so this is pretty simple there's four torx bits right here and then this is a dual voice coil so if you're buying a new sub make sure for at least for my vehicle a, a tj wrangler you want to make sure that you get a two ohm dual voice coil subwoofer so that all of your wiring and stuff works properly all right guys we got our old subwoofer out you can see the dual voice coil wires here and here we got our new sub kicker ks series competition five inch should give us a lot more bass if you look at the magnet construction on the back of this versus our little stock one here uh, you can see the difference is pretty substantial now these guys here have a quick plug that goes in and we have these little plugs here so they're not really going to fit we're going to have to snip the wires and do it this way but uh that's okay not a big deal for putting the new sub in there all right we got our wires plugged in here i'm going to put it back in the box take it over plug it in real quick make sure it works before we screw it down in there now this uh is going to have to get custom screws put in it because the screw holes aren't going to line up so i'm going to go and do that and i'll be back once it's mounted got our sub mounted in our top screws are in this box looks pretty good in there we got our side screws in now what we're going to do is i've flattened out these little um what do they call them quick nuts or push nuts i think something like that but we flattened them back out it fits good it's not really shaking or rattling around in there but what we're going to try and do if i can get this maneuvered around here so we're going to try and just take these even though they are cracked because i i kind of cracked them to break them off of there we're going to try and push these back on and just see if we can get get them to stick a little bit just to kind of hold this in place if that works out i'll show you if not i won't all right got our push nut back on there and they are actually holding there so just push them back down flatten them out with a flathead screwdriver and they will bend back out and kind of crimp that little tab again so 
no need to find the replacement part. We got them on there. Let's get the box back installed. Final little sound test. All right, guys, we're all put back together here. We cleaned our cup holders while everything was out. Cleaned out our case here and all that stuff. Made everything nice and pretty. Everything works except that one overhead speaker over there. That kind of sucks. Um, I'm going to pull the radio, make sure that the connection didn't come loose back there or something. I didn't see anything in the amp. Um, but uh, the sound is much better. Now, I'm playing a track you guys have heard before because it won't demonetize the, the channel. So, uh, you can't really hear the bass, but I turned on another track and this little subwoofer here kicks much better. So, you know, we're not going to win any stereo competitions here, but uh, it is definitely much better for driving around and the sound is much better. Those uh, four by sixes up front sound a lot better. Um, you know, it's just better when you got the top off and the doors off and all that stuff, the wind noise, you can barely hear the radio before. Now I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to hear it. So successful project. If I pull the radio and find a connection, I'll add a little tidbit at the end of this video for you. But, uh, you know, things working pretty good. So even with that little speaker not working, sounds pretty good. I know you're not going to be able to hear with the GoPro microphone, but at any rate, Thanks for watching this video. If I uh, if I figure out why that speaker's not working, I'll add it at the very end here. Uh, but if not, I appreciate you watching the video. Maybe if you have a Jeep and you've never done it before, I helped you out. Okay guys, I did find the problem. Uh, whoever installed this radio, which looks like an audio shop did it because they use these stupid little crimp caps. Guys, this is not the way to do it. I mean, is it better than just twisting them together with uh, with electrical tape sure but it's not the way to do it you can see one cap fell off here already um and i found this wire loose and it goes to this plug right here and guess what when i touched it that speaker started working so i'm gonna wire these back up uh a little more proper here and put the radio back in the hole and we got all five one, two, three, four, all five speakers are working. So cool. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching this video. If you uh, you got a Jeep and you were doing a radio install, maybe this video helped you out. I mean, it's pretty simple stuff, but uh, we got our tunes going and uh, I'm getting a phone call. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you on the next one.